The Wolf Knife is a story about two teenage girls who run away from home and end up in Nashville, Tennessee. Awesome. So how did how did this how did you come across this project? Um, you know, I wrote, shot, edited, and directed the project, so in some ways I have absolutely no memory of when it all began and when it all ended and if I even really finished it at all, but I guess I'm here, so I did. Um, you know, I fell in love with the faces of the two girls, and I wrote the um, screenplay based around the lead actors. Um, and then I fell in love with Tennessee, and I realized that I needed to shoot part of the film here. So um, the film really came about because I love their faces, I love this landscape, and I wanted to combine those things. Awesome. So are you from Nashville or what? why was Nashville the, the final spot in the film? You know, I'd come to Nashville a couple times for work things and I have a couple of friends here. I met some friends at the Sundance Festival in 2009 and ended up visiting them here and um, I just loved the place. I'm originally from Iowa, so I don't know. I probably shouldn't even be here, right? But I just love the place. So as the writer and director, uh, from what I've seen of the film, I know like it starts off and, and one of the girls, you know, has a creepy stepfather and I think that's kind of part of the catalyst to get out of town. Is, is that, does that come from something or where was the inspiration for the, the overall plot? Oh, I mean, it's a fictional story. It was something that I, I just thought of. I thought, you know, we've got to have a reason for this girl to want to get out of Florida. I mean, mm -hmm. there's got to be a reason for her to have to leave. And I thought, this is a complicated story. This is interesting. Let's start here. Okay, and uh, tell me a little bit about your two leads. How did you discover them? Well, I found Julie actually through an open casting call uh, when I was casting for my first film, Stay the Same, Never Change. Mm -hmm. um, and she's in that film, and she's incredible in that film, and I thought, I really need to put her in something else. And then Christina, um, the girl who plays Chrissy in the film, was in a short video of mine, um, and I found her through an open casting call at Syracuse University. And as I said, I just fell in love with their faces, and I, I knew that these girls had faces that could convey a story, a very simple story, and carry a 90-minute film. Well, cool. Um, for filmmakers who haven't quite made a film yet, you've, you're obviously here, you're at the Nashville Film Festival. Do you have any words of advice for someone wanting to get started and make their first film? Just borrow a camera and go for it. I mean, I made my film on a very modest budget. You know, there's no difference really between me and the next person who wants to make a film other than I just made the film. Awesome. And then I guess just sum up, how has your experience at the Nashville Film Festival been so far? Well, I just got here today, okay. but so far, A+. Plus. Awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I appreciate it.